In this episode, we are going to talk about resistance in parallel circuits. So when we have resistors arranged in parallel in a circuit, how do we account for the total resistance? So if I have a diagram which gives me a parallel circuit this way, so I have, I'm going to have two resistors in parallel to each other. So now this is my diagram. I have R1, I have R2. This is my voltage source and positive negative. So I'll get my current IT this way. So since this is parallel, there's a junction here. The current is going to split into I1 and I2 for this parallel circuit. Please pay attention. So we are going to account for the resistance of the two resistors. Now, we already know that this total current IT in the parallel circuit is going to be the summation of I1 and I2. This is true and it is established. Now, we also know that from the Ohm's law, we saw that Ohm's law. We saw that V is equal to I R. Is that true? Meaning we are going to make I the subject, which is going to give us I is equal to the voltage on the resistance. If this is true, now can we also establish an equation involving voltage and resistance? Yes. We also know that. For a parallel circuit, Vt, this total voltage, let's call voltage across resistor 1 as V1 and that of resistor 2 as V2. So this is equal to V1, which is equal to V2. Then we can say from Ohm's law, the IT is going to be from this V on R, we are going to say Vt on RT. Is that true? Yes, that is true. So from the equation one, this current equation, IT is now VT on RT, which is equal to, now I1 is also going to be V1 on R1 plus I2, which is V2 on R2. So we've seen from, let's call this equation two, Vt, V1, and V2 are all the same. So meaning they can cancel out from this equation. Meaning I'm going to get one on Rt, and this is one on R1 plus one on R2, this way. So now, anytime resistors are arranged in parallel, this equation is true for finding the total resistance. It is called the reciprocal formula. So this is the total resistance. One over the total resistance is equal to one over the resistance of resistor one and one over the resistance of resistor two. No matter the amount of resistors arranged in series, arranged in parallel, now, if they are four, it is still going to be one on RT should be equal to one on resistor one plus one on resistor two plus one on resistor three plus one on resistor four and so on plus going the same pattern. So after computing for this part, you now reciprocate your answer to get the total resistance. It is very simple. So always have this formula in mind. It is called the reciprocal formula for finding the total resistance of parallel circuit. There is a shortcut for resistors of same value. So let's look at resistors of same 
value. If I have same value resistors arranged in parallel, I need not to worry myself about the reciprocal formula. There is a shortcut for it. Now we are going to say the resistance for resistance of the same value is going to be R on N. Very simple. If all the resistors are having the same value, this is true. When all the resistors have the same value, I mean the value for the resistance is the same. So if we have about six resistors having the same resistance, let's say 20 ohms, this formula is true. So now let's explain the terms. R, R is the resistance of one. R is the resistance of one of the resistors. And N is the number of resistors we have. So if I have 10 resistors and each of them has say 20 ohm resistance, then the total resistance is going to be the number of resistors where we have 10 of them and R. So our R is going to be the resistance of one, which is 20 and N, which is 10 number of resistors, going to give us 2 ohm resistance. So you can use this approach. But then if you still want to use the reciprocal approach, it will still work for same value. You can still go ahead 1 over resistor 1 plus up to 1 on resistor to the nth power or N. If they are 20, it will still work. But if they are of the same value, you have to use this approach. Let's look at some example and solve some problems with this. Example one, find the total resistance of the circuit. So we have a circuit with three resistors, a four ohm resistor, six and 12 ohms resistor. So let's find the total resistance in this circuit. So First, we have our R1 to be 4 ohms, our R2 to be 6, R3 to be 12 ohms. So we can see that they are arranged in parallel because if this current IT is coming, it will split into I1 and I2. So it makes it parallel circuit and for parallel circuit the total resistance is going to be rt which is unknown and from the reciprocal formula from the reciprocal formula our one on rt which is the total resistance is going to be one on r1 plus the number of resistors we have up to one on Rn. And here we have three, so that is going to be Rt equal to one on R1 plus one on R2 plus one on R3. This says one on Rt is going to be one on four plus one on six plus one on what? 12. Is that true? Yes. So 1 on RT. When you sum all this, you are going to get 1 on 2, which is half. Now the resistance is going to be the reciprocal of the answer, which is going to be RT is the reciprocal of half. And that is going to be 2 ohms. Therefore, for the circuit, the resistance, the total resistance is going to be 
two ohms. And note, always the total resistance for a parallel circuit is going to be less than the least resistance. So always your answer is going to be less than the least resistance. Looking from this diagram, the least resistance is 4 ohms, and the answer is going to be less than that. You can try that and find from other examples. Let's solve example 2 and see. Example 2. In the figure below, calculate RT, which is the total resistance, and VT, the total voltage, if the total current is 20 amperes. So this is the diagram. It is a parallel circuit, and we have to find the total resistance for two resistors, and also to calculate for the total voltage. So straight away, let's look at it. Now, the total resistance. So from, because already we know this is a parallel circuit, so from, we are going to use the reciprocal formula. We are going to say one on our RT is going to be one on resistor one plus one on resistor two, where our resistor one is, we have 18 ohms, and our resistor two is 32 ohms. So, our A part, 1 on RT should be equal to 1 on 18 plus 1 on 32. And this is going to give us 1 on RT, which is equal to 25 on 288. So, when you find the reciprocal of this, your RT is going to give you 288 on 25, which is equal to 11.52 ohms. So for the circuit, the total resistance is 11.52 ohm, which should always be less than the least resistance because the 11.52 is less than the least, which is 18. So once you get an answer which is greater than the least resistance, you should check your solution again for parallel circuits. So now we have our RT. B, our VT should be calculated. And we know that from the Ohm's law, our V should be equal to I, R. So here, if we want VT, that should be IT and RT. From the question, our IT, which is the total current, is 20 amperes, and from the total resistance in the circuit is 11.52. And with this, our total voltage is going to give us 230.4 volts, and you are good to go. So this is for example two. Let's look at example three, which is the final example. Example 3. Five resistors are arranged in parallel. Calculate the total resistance in the circuit if each resistor is 25 ohms. So we have five resistors arranged in parallel and we are to find the total resistance if each of them is 25 ohms. So you can do this with a sketch for a diagram. So I would like to have a diagram of it. So it is in this form. So this would be my resistor 1. I will have resistor 2. Resistor 3. Resistor 4. And my resistor 5. Having the diagram makes your analysis so easy. So R1, R2, R3, 
R4 and R5. This is my voltage source. So each of them, R1 is equal to R2, equal to R3, equal to R4, and equal to R5. Each of them is also equal to 25 ohms. So now we dealt with this. If resistors are arranged in parallel, having the same value, then the total resistance RT can be calculated simply as one of the resistors over the number of resistors we have. Are we okay? So this is going to give us R, any of the resistors, which is 25. And how many of them do we have? We have five. So this is going to give us five ohms. So the total resistance in the circuit is five ohms. And as you can see, since they are in parallel, the total resistance should be less than any of the resistors, which is 25. You can also choose to use the reduction formula or the or reciprocal formula. The reciprocal formula. Let's use the reciprocal formula. And also check if we are going to get the same thing. So for that, one on the total resistance is going to be one on R1 plus one on R2 plus one on R3 plus one on R4 up to one on R5. Now each of them is 25. So one on 25 plus one on 25. One on 25 up to one on 25. So I can see that RT, the summation of this is going to be 5 on 25. And when you find this, your answer is going to be RT is equal to 25 on 5, which is 5 ohms. So each of them is going to work, but this is going to give you a simpler and a faster approach. Thank you for watching this episode. So this is about resistors arranged in parallel, how we can go about it. In the next episode, we are going to talk about the current divider rule. So please subscribe to the channel, drop your comment, share the video, and help us understand what we are doing. Thank you for your time.